Alright folks, Mac T back, Mac T's garage. We got a 2005 Toyota Highlander with emergency brake pedal that goes all the way to the floor. And I think it just needs a simple adjustment. Well, simple is a misnomer of uh, what's going to actually happen. I've already started the job, I'll explain what I do and then I'll of course uh, record putting it all back together. So that'll give you an idea what you got to do to take it apart. But I had to figure out first what was going on with it so that I could actually adjust it. And uh, it's not as easy as it seems, uh, but it's not as hard as it would you would think. So uh, let's go ahead and check this Toyota Highlander out, 2005, an emergency brake pedal. Let's see what we got to do. As you can see, we removed the uh, plastic cover. I also removed the metal brace that was underneath the plastic cover three screws and two holding this in place and then it just snaps in with the holder so not much of a big deal but I think you can see that bolt right there yep that one right there that little bolt nut it's a double nut and uh, it's a 10 millimeter for both of them and you have to have one wrench to hold it still while you back the other one off uh, getting down in here deeper I think we can actually see it right there and uh, you gotta back that first one off so you can tighten the other one because it's a locking nut but uh, essentially what the brake pedal does is it goes it's really loose there's not much it goes all the way to the floor when you take and push it and it doesn't really work very good so I crawled underneath and the cable is really really slack so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up just a bit so that we can get a little bit of the slack taken out of the cable and uh, make it a little more usable because right now with it going all the way down uh, it really doesn't hold well so not gonna over tighten it you got to be careful of that but we are going to go ahead and see if we can't get that nut a little bit tighter and then go ahead and uh, test her out and get her adjusted so to make this easier we're just gonna back this nut off neighbors mowing the lawn so bear with me I asked him if he'd get the front done first or he says I'll just do the back while you do your video so that's what he's doing now we're going to go ahead and uh, put this wrench on here and you can see look at this that's how much slack there is in it so we're going to take up all this slack and you can just tighten it up by hand just like so and i bet you that's all we really need to do just put it up there with your fingers till it gets firm I guess you could say that's all I'm gonna do I bet you that'll take it and do what I need it to do so you just pull back on it get it till you got it as tight as you can with your fingers I bet oh yeah that's exactly where we want it so when we push it it'll kick in nice and firm so that's all we're gonna do and it's as simple as that get it nice and firm didn't even need tools so to speak got that on there so we just go ahead put this locking nut back on there And not always do my flashlights stay where they're supposed to be anyway we'll go ahead and tighten that back up there I think we can go ahead and just throw this wrench on there to tighten her up just a bit there we go shouldn't back off of there it should be fairly tight and uh, 
that's all we got to do. So let's go ahead and put this thing all back together to show you how it come apart. And then I think we'll be ready to go. First things first, you want to slide that up in there. Both of these. They go right in there, like so, and then you just put the three screws back in. It's pretty simple really, as long as you don't lose the three screws. Get them hand started. And I don't remember what these sizes were. 10 millimeter also. Everything's 10 millimeter. Don't leave home without it, right? I had it adjusted to the drill function before. And that's not good. There you go not over tightening anything. I think I'll back it off a little bit further. And then you have this thing right here that I disconnected. And that goes back into this slot right here and it just snaps in. I'm not quite sure what it is. the wires go up on it and then you just snap it back in it snaps right back into place and then this dash piece actually goes up underneath there and that's pretty much that and then you take the bolt right here get it started and you just pop that cover back on it and this cover covers that opening right there. Nothing behind there. I just snapped it out for better access. And then down here, up underneath, you have the other one right next to the hood release. Hold that one in place. There you go. All together, emergency brake is now nice and stiff and it's not riding. So we just finger pulled it and uh, it got nice and uh, snug just by doing that. So now we have a functioning emergency brake. Where it used to go all the way down to the floor, it no longer does. And it looks like it's pretty solid. But that's it. It's all back in place, pretty simple probably take you about 10 minutes if you work fast but that's how you adjust the emergency brake well folks that wasn't a very long in duration uh, repair but I do hope that you now know how to adjust the emergency brake uh, cable on your 2005 Toyota Highlander that's right uh, yeah it's uh, it's not hard just have to have the right tools my little drill worked great that little milwaukee and uh, a couple little ratcheting wrenches and off you go uh it shouldn't be that terribly hard for you but uh, it does get the play out and make sure you got a good parking situation going on 
I was getting complaints about it, but I never got around to it, and I finally did. So I guess that'll make the women in the house happy. But anyway, uh, that's all there is to it. Remember, like, subscribe, join Mac T Garage. That's right, Facebook and YouTube, and also, uh, let's see, Mercy Girl always has one-liners, Band of Ones always playing great music, and my feet hit the floor today, I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.